Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at The Touch from Robbie Moreland and Vanishing Incorporated. All right, so what is The Touch? Uh, the Touch is uh, three of uh, Robert Moreland's uh, classic routines. These are tricks that he uh, makes his living on, uh, doing walk around corporate and uh, restaurant table hopping. And so, hey, why are you listening to me? Let's watch the trailer. There is a difference between a good effect and a great effect, and it's not what you might think. Every magic effect, no matter how simple, has the potential to be elevated. It just needs the touch. Learn three of my signature card and coin routines. Each effect is constructed for maximum impact. Learn the touches that turn these tricks into miracles. This is magic for real audiences in the real world. My name is Robert Moreland and welcome to The Touch. All right, so that was Robbie Moreland. Uh, now, uh, he's been Robert Moreland on a couple of his other releases, so I don't know why this one's Robbie and the other one's Robert, but don't get confused, it's the same guy. Uh, this is a release from Vanishing Incorporated, and like I said, it has three effects. What's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, it's just a DVD, okay? It's a DVD, and it's two hours and 16 minutes long. I did not stutter, two hours and 16 minutes for three effects. You can do the math to see how much time would be devoted to each effect. Is it what I thought? You know what, I didn't know what to think. Uh, this, isn't, this isn't Robbie's first rodeo, uh, but it's the first time I've ever been exposed to his magic or his products and his material, so I didn't know what to think. I, I kind of wanted to watch it just so that I could figure out what the touch was. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, the, the tricks are presented with uh, one real spectator, okay? Uh, but in that situation, uh, there's no microphone. So I guess they figured because there was two people, they just left them both unmiked. And that's all done with a steady mounted camera. And then when you watch the tricks being explained, uh, then you have a moving camera that's kind of giving you multiple angles. Then uh, Robbie is wearing a microphone. All right, so what's taught on the DVD? What are the three effects? Uh, you're gonna get a first trick called Vibes. Vibes, the entire thing, all through, explanation included, is about 49 minutes long, okay? 49 minutes. It's basically an any card to any number routine that's filled with twists, turns, and of course, Robbie Moreland's sense of humor. Then you're gonna get a trick called Bulletproof. Bulletproof is about another uh, 30 minutes-ish. It's a, a coins through the table routine, okay? It's a one by one, three coins go through the table. And then the ending is the, the last coin doesn't go through the table, the glass goes through the table instead of the coin. And then the last trick is called the burst. The burst is a four ace production and it follows a story, it follows a routine, a routine about explosions, dynamite, TNT, that kind of thing. It's kind of a little play on words uh, routine, kind of like Sam the Bellhop. Uh, so it's obviously a deck stack that has some presentation to it, meaning you don't need a spectator for this, it's just a show of skill. All right, so why is this two hours and 16 minutes long, but then only three effects? Let me tell you. Uh, the reason why this is called The Touch is because Robbie is basically taking you from ground zero to ready to perform, okay? Uh, and this is interesting because um, I actually did read uh, somebody else's review for this and they said, well, this was for intermediate magicians. Now, I would disagree and here's why. Robbie is definitely skilled and I would say that if he didn't take the time to explain every effect, this DVD would be for intermediate skill level, but he spends 30 to 45 minutes to an hour on each effect. 
and he literally breaks every step down for you. Okay, let me just give you one example from the very first trick. So vibes, okay? When I watched vibes, when I watch him perform it, because I'm already an intermediate level magician, okay? I could watch and follow his routine step by step. And then once his routine was over, I almost knew, uh, let's just say 80% of what he did. But, 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 Robbie then goes into every single point of minutia to break this trick down for you. He is giving you a masterclass on these effects. So he's gonna cover the pinky count. He's gonna cover the pinky break. He's gonna cover an expanded deck. He's gonna go over four ace productions. He's gonna do all of this for you. Okay. Every single effect has these little sub chapters that follow and he breaks everything down. Like for instance, when in a Bulletproof, when he goes over the how to make the glass vanish under the table. Now we all, a lot of intermediate magicians know how to do this. This is my favorite trick to do uh, whenever I'm in a restaurant uh, with casual friends, I'll make the glass disappear, okay? We all know how to do it, but Robbie goes over what type of glass to use, what type of napkin to use, what type of coins to use, okay? He covers everything. So the fact that he spends so much time covering the basics, I would say this is more targeted at beginners who want to maybe move up into the intermediate level. You're a beginner, uh, and I'll say, like, who would like this? Who would like this? So uh, I would say you're a beginner, and you wanna start doing corporate walk around. You wanna start doing table hopping uh, in a restaurant setting, because all of these tricks need a table. Okay, let me just throw that out there. These tricks all need a table. So it's very obvious what kind of uh, target he is targeting, okay? So if you need a table, then I would say, this is corporate, this is restaurant walk around you're a beginner and you want to get into that field, then you pick up this DVD because Robbie's going to show you and walk you through each one of these effects. All right, so positives. What are the positives to the touch? Uh, I think beginners are going to find a very thorough presentation that takes them from ground zero to ready to perform. Robbie teaches three varied routines that cover all the bases. Negatives, all right, so what are some of the negatives to the touch? Uh, for me, there was a disconnect between the presentation and the teaching, okay? Uh, because I had never seen Robbie Moreland before, I kind of wanted to get to know him and get to know his character, and that was difficult for me because he kept changing his appearance. And, and so I think so much of Magicians is wrapped up in, in how we present ourselves as our appearance. For instance, when he does his performances, he's against a modern wood backdrop uh, and he's got an open button shirt, and his spectator is wearing jeans, okay, it's very casual. And then when he goes to uh, teach you, he's wearing a suit. He's wearing a suit and tie, and he has a curtain backdrop, which is very formal. So I didn't understand if he was a formal magician or if he was a casual hip magician. There's even one point in the video where he actually stops and changes, and he's wearing like a white, uh, like a muscle long sleeve shirt with like a, a dog tag necklace, and that looks even more casual, and I just kept flipping back in my head going, what kind of magician is he? Um, I would assume he's probably more formal, more corporate, more walk around uh, that style, just because those are the kinds of tricks that he does. So I just kind of wanted to get to know him better as a magician, and I felt like the changing of the outfits and the scenery didn't help that. It almost kind of made me, it, ma it pulled me out every time it happened, and so I was left questioning like, well, what, what kind of magician is he? Is it worth your money? Uh, it's thirty dollars, thirty bucks, um, and, and here's another disconnect for me that, that I just it left me kind of wanting. Thirty dollars for three effects, of course, is ten dollars an effect, obviously, uh, and because it's two hours and sixteen minutes, that does feel like it, Robbie should charge more for it, but. It's still three effects, you know? At the end of the day, it's still three effects regardless of how much time you put in. And so for me, just for me, because I felt like I didn't learn a lot from this and because I'm not a beginner. Uh, and I think if this really is targeted at people who want to learn this, I think you need to make it more approachable monetarily wise. You, you know, you want to make your cost low so that more people will buy it. Making it $30, I just think it, it raises it out of the beginner level group. And, and so I think it's probably 10 to $15, a little bit too high. I would have liked to have seen this maybe at a, at a $25 or a $19.99 price point. I think that would have been, uh, I think that would have been better. All right, so that's my review of the touch from Robbie 
Robert Moreland, uh, and Vanishing Incorporated. Of course, I want to thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this effect so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.